Preseason is the time to have a look and get excited about teenage prospects ripping it up against a bunch of postmen from Southeast Asia before they themselves end up slipping into obscurity and ending up working down the bank within five years. Let's take a look at what youngsters have been impressing in preseason for your Premier League side this summer. Arsenal Eddie Nketia. When Eddie Nketia sees Arsenal chuck 70 million quid at yet another forward, he probably feels like jamming his head in the car door. The 20 year old forward, chewed up and spat out by the Chelsea youth system, is a frightening talent and has been ripping it up in preseason and netting the winner against Bayern Munich and two against Fiorentina. Then again, maybe, maybe don't get too excited. I remember Yaya Sanogo scoring four in a preseason game against Benfica once. Nowadays, he's probably unclogging toilets at the goddamn airport. Aston Villa, Callum O'Hare. Well, Villa have had a pretty perfect preseason, winning all six games. I mean, this could all mean nothing and they could feasibly finish bottom with Wesley scoring less than five goals and Grealish putting Brill Cream out of business by October. But anyway, Callum O'Hare is a 21-year-old attacking midfielder and is impressed in the minutes he's had on the pitch. Bournemouth, Gavin Kilkenny. Okay, I'm gonna hold my hands up. I have not sat down to watch one single minute of a Bournemouth preseason game this season, alright? I was too busy getting the skin burnt off my shoulders. I now look like a peeled peanut. Why do you think I'm not doing a face cam today? But from what I can see, the likes of Sam Sturridge has bagged a goal. Even Dominic Solanke has actually found the back of the net. Twice! So you know hell is in serious danger of freezing over. But no, I'm gonna go for Gavin Kilkenny. Of course, he's Irish. Playing in the number 10 role, the 19 year old midfielder played 90 minutes in a 3 0 win over Leon and even scored a goal. Now, please. Please, for the love of God, turn out better than Keith Andrews. Brighton, Stephen Alzate. I'll be honest, I've never heard of Stephen Alzate. The lad sounds more like a pizza topping than he does a professional football, but anyway. He's a 20 year old English attacking midfielder and lit up the first preseason game for Brighton in a 5 2 win at FC Lieferfing. He's coming back off a season on loan at Swindon Town. He's looking pretty good, which means he'll no doubt play about 10 minutes in the League Cup this season and spend the rest of the year crying into his Weedabix. Burnley, Dwight McNeil. Good news for Burnley, they're on fire in preseason with the likes of Chris Wood and Jay Rodriguez scoring 14 goals between. Them. Accrington Stanley were dispatched 8 0, which I guess is a bit like beating your dog at chess, while Patrick Vieira watched his niece side concede 6 at Turf Moor. A game which no doubt scared Alan St. Massaman all the way to Newcastle. Anyway, as always, Dwight McNeil has been pulling strings, running the show. I'm well, sure that was to be expected, wasn't it? Chelsea, Mason Mount. The likes of Mason Mount is probably thanking the Lord that Chelsea have finally been slapped with a transfer ban. No longer is the club able to go another nine months consistently ignoring the youth, chucking them in a cupboard under the stairs in favour of spending another £30 million on the likes of Danny Goddamn Drinkwater. This is Mount's chance and he's taken it. He opened the scoring against St. Pat's in Dublin, back two in a 4-3 win at Reading, and altogether, has looked pretty comfortable in the Chelsea midfield. By the way, I know he's not exactly a kid anymore, but shout out to Ross Barkley, the lad has scored in each of his last four preseason games. He could have a big season, which is why I've stuck him in my fancy league team. But then again, I am borderline insane, as we all know. Crystal Palace, the tea lady. I'm sorry, lads, have you seen Crystal Palace as a preseason? It is horrendous. You could stick a team of baby elephants on the pitch, feed them a gallon of Calpol each, and they'd probably put up a better fight than some of these Palace youngsters. I know it's only preseason, where most players are still stinking of steak in Sambuca from the west coast of Marbs and no doubt have beer bellies dragging down to their ankles but still Palace have lost five preseason games against the likes of Young Boys Barnett Nottingham Forest Brownlee and Hertha Berlin 6-2 to Barnett 4-0 at home to Hertha Christ above lads if this was an audition tape you effectively projected verbal diarrhea all over the goddamn stage so yeah who impressed for Palace this summer I don't know, I'm sure the tea lady made some nice scones. Those poor women have probably been worked like a Chinese sweatshop when Big Sam was in charge. Everton, Lewis Gibson. Everton's preseason looks insanely dull. Out of seven games, they've scored three and kept four clean sheets. Clearly, Marco Silva has finally mastered the art of a solid defence, no doubt threatening to staple their ears to a goddamn barbecue if they ever dared to concede a goal. Anyway, former Newcastle defender Lewis Gibson has really excelled at the art of the defence, looking calm and composed at just 19 years of age. When I was 19 years of age, I was sticking it in her ear. Leicester City, James Justin. Let's be honest, this man is not going to play for Leicester this season, all right? He is just not. But anyway, he's a teenage full-back in England under-19 international and played well at games against Chelton, Scunthorpe and Rotherham. Liverpool, Rian Brewster. Remember the name, Rian Brewster. Yeah, he might be just a kid and is too young to remember what Sabrina the teenage witch ever was, but the lad is already a World Cup winner. While I sit in my own sweat and feces day in day out, wishing toilet paper wasn't so goddamn expensive. This is a red hot talent who took a year out of the game through injury, but is being bred as the next Daniel Sturridge. I.e. a clinical striker. Just hopefully minus the cartilage made of melted yogurt. He scored two in a 6-0 win at Tranmere in early July. Another one against Bradford City three days later before netting a penalty at Anfield in a 3-2 defeat to Brooklyn. 
Russia Dortmund. Man City, Lucas Mecha. Okay, well, he's gone now. I mean, being chucked out the door to Wolfsburg on loan. And there's a good chance we'll never see him in a Man City shirt again. But hey, at least he had a decent preseason. Nemecha is a 20-year-old German striker coming back from an unproductive loan spell at Preston and actually looked all right for City this month, scoring a penalty against West Ham and another against Yokohama Marinos. Then again, he did miss a penalty against Wolves and cost his club the Asian Cup. So maybe that's why Guardiola has effectively sentenced his Man City career to a quick and early death. Man United, Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood is the next Marcus Rashford, isn't he? I.e. basically he'll have the weight of the club forced upon his shoulders before he's even hit 21. Anyway, the 17 year old born... <laughs> Christ above, born two years before Ronaldo signed for the club, netted in a 4-0 win over Leeds, then scored the only goal against Inter Milan. This could be his year, and hopefully he passes his goddamn GCSEs. Newcastle, Maddie Longstaff. Mrs. Longstaff must be so proud. She has spawned two freckle-faced youngsters who have grown up to play for Steve Bruce. Her lady parts deserve a knighthood. While Sean might be rated as 50 million pounds, by people who no doubt spend their days shoving crayons up their nose, Maddie is his younger brother, is quietly going under the radar, desperately hoping nobody mistakes him for Jack Colback in the street. If they did, he no doubt the vegetables chucked at his car. He's looked good in spells in preseason and battered in a 25 yard pile driver in off the crossbar at home against Saint Etienne in a game where Matthew Debussy also scored. A lad he'd have been cheering on from the stands as a 13 year old kid. Norwich City, Todd Cantwell. All hail Todd Cantwell, Norwich City's new lord and saviour. The 21 year old midfielder playing in the number 14 shirt has been a revelation in preseason. Putting in a stellar 45 minutes against Atalanta, he scored in that game, ran the show against Toulouse. The next James Madison, Sheffield United, Keane Bryan. Yeah, I've never heard of this lad, but hey, imagine beginning your career at Man City in 2008, coinciding with a takeover, the arrival of Rabinho, most exciting time in history of the club, and 10 years later, nobody even remembers your goddamn name. Keane Bryan was finally spat out to Sheffield United last year, after someone at the Eddie had remembered he was alive, and an actual employee, not just some lad off the street arriving at the canteen every day for lunch. Anyway, Bryan is a 22-year-old midfielder slash defender, has played a couple of pre-season games, notably in a 5 0 at Chesterfield, and has looked quite decent. Southampton, Jake Vokins. What do you mean, who the hell is this guy? How dare you show such disrespect to the name Jake Vokins, future Ballon d'Or winner? The lad is a 19-year-old defender, scored in a 3-1 win against Preston, kept a clean sheet in a 4-0 win at Guangzhou Evergrande, and kept his place for a 3-1 win at Feyenoord. Tottenham, Troy Parrott. Troy Parrott, you future Robbie Keane. A red-hot goal scorer at underage level, this fella was four months old the last time we were at a World Cup. Four months old. He was hardly downing pints when Keane was banging that in against Germany now, was he? Well, pints of milk, maybe. But anyway, yes, I am pinning all my hopes for my country on this 17 year old striker and you can't stop me. In pre-season he started against Juventus, nearly scored against Gianluigi Buffon, a man who was the world's most expensive goalkeeper when he was just nestling in his dad's nutsack. He started against Man United as well and looked lively. Come on Parrot, please live up to the billing. Watford Adam Messina. Okay, he's not exactly a youngster. At 25 the fullback's practically middle-aged, but hey, Javi Garcia hasn't exactly been chucking out kids onto the pitch in pre-season, right? Instead leaving them all to rot under the goddamn stairs. Messina played in a one win at QPR and altogether looks ready to push Jose Halabas for a starting place. West Ham, Josh Cullen. Here we have a budding Irish underage international, born in England and no doubt using our national side as a goddamn set of trading wheels. I can already taste the future betrayal in my mouth. Honest to God, it tastes like wet sand. Cullen is a 23-year-old former Charlton midfielder who's featured in three preseason games, showing glimpses of his ability in all the matches. I swear to God, if this kid ends up being the future Declan Rice. Wolves, Ruben Vinegar. DT might be banging on about salt and pepe, terrible hashtag by the way, but Wolves have the vinegar. He's a 20-year-old left sided wing back and has had a stunning preseason, scoring the winning penalty against Man City and even netting in a Europa League qualifier. Good on him. 